Hello all it's Nazos here and I'm going to show you where to find everyone for the bounty's quest. So first things first we get out of this cave shop. Wow what the fuck is this lag? What we wanna do is head left into these farmlands. Now after obediently going into the farmlands, we continue left and past the bridge then you'll see a body of water. Once you peep the body of water, jump in it and have you swim and head south for the winter. Now that you've reached this stage, just head into the ruins to the right and you will be face to face with the most sexiest I mean cutest I mean most dangerous first bounty ever. So on to the next bounty. I'm sick and tired of you stalking me. I'm not dry. Go you and turn creepy you turban wearing I was pirate boy. Programmed to turn to each oh hello there everyone. Wow. You did not have Rude. to witness that foolishness. Now as I was saying we are going to find the Armire gang boys who claim to be unfindable. Now again what you wanna do is get out of this creepy cave shop again. Once you are out of the shop you are going to head straight north until you enter the Starway Forest. Now pay close attention to what I do. I will crawl to our destination. Normally I would say go north until you see a hill, but you might do the mistake I did and run right past it. This hill and cave right here is where the Armire gang will be, but before I go show you anything about the notorious anonymous pirate group, I want to show you this cave right here where you'll find a crystal. Now on to the Armire gang. What we will do here is crawl up this hill and enter the cave where you will find the captain in blue and one of his goonies sitting right next to him. To be honest, once you talk to the captain it won't lead you to a chat the battle. First he'll ask you if you want his autograph and then call you a fool. But if you don't want to waste any time you can tell him something else which will lead to battle. By the way, there's a room up here that has special prizes for defeating the Armire gang besides the wimpy 500 coin reward that you'll get from the Ranger Guild. Quick strategy also, you won't be able to physically attack the captain unless you take out his two goonies, but you can hurt him with magic. Now on to the much harder bounties. Oh my gosh you guys keep catching me off guard. I'm just buying so delicious delicacy for the trip, but anyways, I honestly forgot we're looking for here, but I do know that we have to go to Silvara for it. Now for those who don't know how to get to Silvara, all you have to do is go to Talani's shop, head south and take a right then pass the bridge. Lazy folks please watch as I demonstrate this strategy. Okay so this is the bridge. But to be honest you have to be a whooping level 28 or 30 to get past the four trolls on this bridge. They are extremely strong and spooky. It literally took me at least 8 fights, or maybe more to get past them. Now follow my lead children, for I will guide you to the next bounty, who I think is the Vampire Stalker. I will try my best to avoid any fighting necessary. Now you see... Don't make the mistake that I just made when trying to reach the vamp grill. Unless you love exploring the game then go ahead and do your BB. Uh, son of a Excuse me for that interruption guys. I was not expecting such a jump scare like that boo oo oh But anyways let us continue our path to the vamp grill. Oh boy I hope she's hot I mean worth it. That was a close one, stupid green tree thing. Alright boys, just to be on the safe side we are going to take this here shortcut. Alright, now before we continue on. If any of you remember Chippy the Cheapskate at the Arrow competition earlier on in the game. He lives straight towards the left right here and he will give you a quest. But don't worry about the reward, because the reward from completing all these bounties will be better than his rewards. But you can do the quest if you'd like, it's very fun. 10 out of friggin 10 would recommend. But anyways, let us continue on with our amazing adventure. Now you see kids. It isn't really that hard to find the vampire stalker, and no I am not an idiot I know what I am doing. She's not really at the northern part of the hunting range, she is somewhere over here. If I can just find it, ah yes, thank you base signs. 
From this side, we will go left and continue left until we see a cave. Now here is where the vampire stalker is. Keep in mind once you go inside this cave don't bother wandering around it unless you want to find some herbs and maybe some stone. Or again just like exploring the map. But once you go inside head towards the top right and you'll see an old lady guarding. Of course she's an antagonist and will not let you in for your own quote unquote safety. But there is an easy way to get past this swindling puppet. Just follow these three easy steps. Bada bing bada boom, there we have it. Now she will move and see what all the hubbub is about her XD. Oh wait, let's see if we can catch up with her and give her major spooks. Okay, 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 that was not an old lady that was a friggin' ghost and I'm terrified of ghosts no matter what. Whether it's virtual based or in reality. Let's get on with this bounty and get the hell out of here. Nothing's more perfect than seeing a spooky theme after such an experience. Thank God for this relaxing background music. I know here we are everyone, this is where the vampire stalker is. But be warned. You will not be fighting only here. There are many different nature-based spiders by her side. But they are extremely easy to take out. Now on to the last and final bounty. What up what up everyone? We finally made it to the last bounty. And if you're wondering I am currently in Silvara. Now from Silvara we will be heading back into the forest that had the sign. And from the sign we'll head towards the upper right. Avoiding any fighting necessary of course. Once you've reached the farmland just follow my exact movements because this chick was actually very difficult to fight. To be honest I was on my way to finish the game until I saw a peculiar pathway on the top right part of this place. Did I say fight? What I- I hate my life. Now as I was saying, what I truly meant was find. This lady is definitely extremely easy with really low health. So it won't be a problem winky face. Okay guys just continue watching me as I guide you to the path of success. Oh god please no Mr. Tree thing. You've got to be f I swear I can't even give a good tutorial without being rudely interrupted. Now on to the friggin witch lady. This better or be worth it. Okay guys. You will enter this lake and continue going right until you've reached the end of the lake. Then continue right and you'll reach a forest. Once you've reached the forest just continue right again and you'll find a spooky abandoned castle slash mansion. And from there on you'll find the witch lady. Keep in mind there is a very very difficult puzzle that awaits you inside. I'm not even going to explain the puzzle now but there she is guys. I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe because I don't want to die lonely. I will keep this video going so you guys can see the cutscene and my amazing strategy with battles. Peace, smile.